Hi, I'm Rich Close, and today's iPhone tutorial continues the discussion on the Apple Watch General Overview. This is part three. Please make sure to click the link and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also visit richclose.com. So now Siri, do you want your Apple Watch to invoke Siri for you? And if you do, how do you want it to work? And I have Siri turned on multiple ways on mine, right? Listen for the, the words. You can raise your wrist to speak, and it will know that you're doing that. Or you can press the digital crown, which I also have turned on. And again, do I want Siri to give me some feedback? Of course. And what volume do I want Siri to use? So sounds and haptics. So how loud do you want your alerts to be on your, your phone? You can change the silent mode if you want to, or turn it back off, or turn up the volume on your alerts. I'm sorry, I said phone, I meant Apple Watch. Headphone safety, if you're listening to headphones. So again, it will record your volume level for the last six months and let you know where you're at. Headphones can reduce sounds if you have that turned on. And I'm, I didn't know this feature existed actually, so I'm gonna turn that on. I think that's a good idea. Do you want haptic alerts on your Apple Watch? In which haptics would you like? And I have them all turned on, right? Crown haptics. So haptics are the kind of vibration feature that you feel in your watch. System haptics, and you can put your hand over your your Apple Watch to mute it if it's making sound. And again, I keep using the phrase, you'll hear me say phone through a lot of this. I really do mean, as I'm looking at this app, the Apple Watch. So again, passcode, I suggest you leave on on your watch. Again, when you first put your watch on in the day, it prompts you for your passcode. As long as it stays on your wrist, you don't need to, to to re-enter that. If you want to turn the passcode off, again, they, people will have access to your phone. And again, for simplicity, you may want to do that. I use a, a longer passcode. You can turn on a simple passcode if you want. And you can, if you have an Apple Watch, you can unlock your iPhone with the Apple Watch as long as you're wearing your watch. And I'm going to turn that feature on. I kind of like that idea. And of course I had to enter the passcode on my Apple Watch for it to do that. And now it's turned on. So now when my Apple Watch is near my phone, my phone will be unlocked. And I don't have it erasing data. And I, so you can see, this is, we talked about this earlier, I do have a passcode turned on. And I want my phone to lock when it no longer sees my wrist. So that's passcode. Emergency SOS. We talked about this on the iPhone. Um, again, you can use your Apple Watch to invoke emergency SOS services. Another, another good reason to have an Apple Watch for seniors. So I have all the ways to turn on emergency SOS. So I can hold the side button to invoke it. If I fall, it will invoke it. It's always on. You can change that to be only during workouts, but as you get older, you might want to leave it on all the time. And then you obviously can go into your emergency contacts in the health app and, and set this up on who would be notified. After emergency services are called, it can send a text to your emergency contact. And then privacy. Do you want to share health settings between Apple Watch and the iPhone? Your Apple Watch can calculate your heart rate. It can also monitor your respiratory rate, be used for fitness tracking, and these can all be updated um, into the iPhone app. It can measure environmental sounds for how, how loud your environment is around you. Um, and, and again, there are other things that newer watches can do that I don't have that would show up in settings like EKG and the like. 
So do you want to share that information between your iPhone and your Apple Watch using the Health app? Okay, that's the end of Apple Watch Part 3. Again, thank you for watching my videos. Again, please click the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website where you can find more iPhone tutorials and a link to my iPhone seminar. Tune in to Part 4 of the Apple Watch.